is a continuation of my other video of replacing the front camera uh, on my car. Well, apparently it was the stitching of all the three, four cameras, the four cameras that creates the 360 degree um, overview or top view or 360 view was not perfect. So the only way you could do it is with those mats. The original mats are a thousand bucks. I found the sketches online, created them in uh, Affinity Designer or any other vector uh, studio <coughs> app and uh, just align them. Axle, that thing needs to align to the axle, more or less. They say five millimeters. I didn't even care to measure the distance between these two because I more or less aligned them uh, with the wheels. And then I didn't cut the paper. You see the paper, the whole thing is, so these are, these lines are 15 millimeter, uh, I mean, 15 centimeter, 30 centimeter, 15. And there's, these, are, these are 10 and 10. This is a leftover from the sheet. I didn't cut it out. I used it actually to align to the wheels. So that's how I more or less know that, you know, plus minus uh, centimeter, it's all good. Uh, FedEx have the cheapest service to print it in one piece so they did it for about 120 bucks and uh, yeah now the alignment is perfect as you can see from uh, from the images that I'm showing on the screen uh, I'm gonna delete my, now the error codes another thing that will tell you that they are aligned I'm, I'm running the VCDS right now for any codes and just to clear them out but when you change or you have a misalignment and especially when the camera says that it's not calibrated your stitching so your shading here is not going to be perfect so here you have darker here you have whiter and whatever and it's normally if you change the front camera so the two side cameras will not align so this whole section the front section will misalign the back will align but everywhere you touch a camera the other it's like a triangular the other two three uh, cameras will not align and you have a misshading you can see, you can see that my shading is perfect now and it's, uh, even the edges here and here, they're not misaligned. It used to be with an angle also. Uh, now there is no issue about that. Uh, even the cone is projected, well that's the back, but the front cone is projected well with the shade. Uh, my doors here, everything is shaded properly, so I'm, I'm happy with that. There is some and I'm not quite sure if it wasn't like that. Anyway, I don't use it that, that often. I can show you the 360 view of the car is perfectly aligned. And it's okay, no problem. The biggest issue was, to be honest, because I used a blueprint paper and I started saying that earlier and I forgot to, to continue. The biggest issue is because it's so light, I had to use stones. The funny thing is, don't ah, you see the stones? Yes, you see here. These are all stones to keep it down on the ground because the the air was coming, the the air was flowing from this side, so it was lifting it up. It actually almost tore it apart. With this one, I used shoes. Here you can see uh, shoes here on the front, and uh, yeah, that's that's. That, that's good and another thing that tells me that it's well aligned are those lines here this, this is where the concrete was cut so the, the whole thing is now pretty solid and as long as it doesn't feed the issue with any errors I'm totally fine I normally don't use it it's I only use uh, you know front camera as you can see it's aligned perfectly fine uh, back wasn't an issue but again yeah and you can see here how well aligned it is perfect and all of it should be good because the camera says the new camera now says that it's calibrated so i don't expect any more issues so that's uh, about it the whole adventure is over i'm gonna roll those into their containers and keep them for the next alignment hopefully not but at least now i have it because every time you touch something a mirror gets broken uh, the bumper gets off or something you do, you need to create a, a new alignment.